Hi everyone. In Exodus 19, the people of Israel are at the foot of Mount Sinai, having been brought out of Egypt by the power of God, who is now visible in the form of a pillar of cloud and fire. God settles on the mountain, and verses 16 to 18 describe it as being covered with a thick cloud, with lightning and thunder, the fire of the Lord, smoke as if from a furnace. And yet, while Moses is on the mountain in God's presence, the people decide, in chapter 32, to build a golden calf to worship instead. By that time, Moses has been on the mountain for 40 days and nights, and they're getting a little impatient, but they're right next to a mountain covered with God's glory, and they decide that a golden calf is a good substitute. It seems silly, doesn't it, to build a fake God when the real God is right there? But as I've mentioned before, Exodus 20 verse 19 shows that the people are too intimidated by the presence of the real God to listen to him directly, saying to Moses, don't let God speak to us or we will die. The people don't find it comfortable to be in the presence of the real God. Chris Tigreen in his devotional book Worship the King says that's the tendency of the human heart. We want a God who is accessible, a God we can see and touch and taste, and when the true God offers us himself, accessible turns to intrusive. What we really wanted was a God we could manage. That's more comfortable. We might think of the idol-making Israelites at the foot of Mount Sinai as a wretched hive of scum and villainy, and they are, but we're the same. God is right there for us as well. In fact, he's within us if we've asked the Holy Spirit into our hearts. And yet, how often do we turn down his requests and promptings when they don't suit us, or ignore the challenge of his word if it seems uncomfortable? Let us remember that God knows the beginning from the end, and that he is doing everything possible to see us enter into his salvation. We can trust him, and we should, even when it's uncomfortable. The God of Sinai can save us, a golden calf cannot. Thank you, God, for drawing near to us. May we draw nearer to you every day. Blessings.